morning crypto farm IGTV YouTube Facebook whichever one you're watching on thought I'd bring you another little video little morning video I'll try and do it every day can't promise it <coughs> but I will try and do it every day so 10 minutes so it fits on IGTV until we're allowed 20 minute ones on there don't know what that's about but I've been thinking about the internet of things and the future of jobs and what the internet of things means for certain technologies and the way we do certain things now i'm right in the middle of piccadilly train station here talking about people looking at you like you're crazy that happens on the street when you do it in a place like this everyone's just like oh is he facetiming or is he actually recording and then when you look at them and make eye contact the instant they just look away it's pretty funny so they're looking at you and then the minute i mean i'm talking the second i look at one of them boom they've gone they've looked they've looked away like they want to watch me but they won't watch me is he, is he facetiming is he is he recording but the internet of things and what it means for the way we do things ibm have already said that like there's more internet of things devices on the planet already than there is humans no doubt billions of them devices are already ready to make payments but let's just take a walk towards my job and see if we can find any anything that we think is going to change i'm talking a 10 to 20 year jump into the future here guys what does it mean for jobs what does it mean for um for the technology and how we interact and how we do things so i'm going to do a little little twirl here and you're going to see people buying tickets behind me on automated machines putting coins in putting notes in paying with your card you've got the travel center there with people in it so how long till that's just all inter interoperable with everything else and people are just don't need pounds you just put a put your revolute card there like most of us could already how long till the people in there are just automated artificial intelligence um like an augmented reality person that you walk in and you see through your through your smart glasses or your contact lenses how long till them two places don't even exist and that yellow tab there you just got a chip in your hand and you put your hand on it, it instantly buys a ticket you're doing where you're going and, it, and you're going there you let through no messing about how long till that happens <sighs> crazy i'm at the shops now so get myself a bit of room <laughs> shops here the people serving people now credit to them you should never put anyone if you request a service you should never put down the person who provides that service whether it's emptying your bin fitting your carpet putting your nice new light on your ceiling or making you a butty in the morning if you requested that service and a person provided it you should respect that person for being willing to provide that service but what happens in 15 years when a robot can do that what happens to the cost of stand down the road where I just got this brew from when a robot can do that? What happens to that guy on the door checking your ticket when there's just a gate that only lets you through, through your, your digital identity? Them cash machines over there, there's uh, four cash machines in a row, NatWest, uh, Bank of Scotland. What happens, when, how long till they're gone, cash machines? <laughs> That was just a few guys in a few shops and a few stands and try and think that far it's like 10 to 20 years how, how does anyone know what what it's going to be like but me personally i think the main job of humanity post 2030 is documenting exactly how i'm doing here now in a way just on on, on creating a little bit of co documenting a little bit of content and sharing it now in, in 10 years that could be going to america going around a few casinos and then uploading videos of my opinions and views on said casinos letting people know what i thought do cheeky little reviews and that and it's getting upvoted um, i write up a little blog for people who'd rather read it than than watch it we do a audio only podcast for people who just want to listen and don't watch and you put it out like that and it gets upvoted and you make value, you get money and value off, off the upvotes. I personally think that's that's the future of most people's jobs, me. When we talk about automated stuff, what happens to the Uber driver? Oh, Uber's using blockchain, buzzing. What happens to the Uber driver when the car drives itself? 
seriously. What happens to the bus driver when the bus drives itself, then bus is there. What happens to the tram driver and the train driver when they all drive themselves? They're gonna need to think of something. And when you've got apps like Steam it coming, or DApps, decentralized applications like Steam it coming up on the blockchain, that it's already happening on. People's already being paid on Steam it, they get upvoted by a certain person with a certain reputation and the bigger your reputation, the more weight your upvote carries. And it's already happening. So there'll be people who was watching the first bit of this video and then heard me say that, or oh, you're gonna end up documenting and be paid for it. There'll be people who watch this and they'll be like, oh, that's never gonna, oh, nah, never gonna happen. Nah, you can't just, you can't just share the video and be paid for it. Or people are just gonna, blah, blah, blah. it's happening. It's already happening. If you don't believe me, Google Steam it. And go and have a look and it tells you the dollar value of each post in Steam coins. So you'd have to like send them to an exchange and get them exchanged for some other value or you keep it in that value for now. Wait, Steam it might go up and that. Oh, it's, all, it's all the same at one point, isn't it? But it's happening. We all know self-driving cars are coming so what are what are the uber drivers of the world and the taxi drivers of the world planning to do i'm actually interested to know so we've got an uber driver or a taxi driver here under 35 or under 40 who wasn't hodling xrp and isn't hopefully soon to be retired because he was a g and saw the future if you wasn't, if you didn't have XRP and that wasn't going to happen, what, what, what do you think most taxi drivers are going to do once the cars are driving themselves? What's, what's going to happen? It's going to happen to everyone in the kiosk stands, or just a robot that can just give you what the butter you wanted, give you anything you actually wanted or that, that, at that time. You can do anything a human can do. It's in a Boston Dynamics robot. They won't even have soldiers too. <laughs> Them robots carry on. It's next level and it's unbelievable and like as always, it's quite hard to talk about and quite hard to speculate. But I just wanted to just imagine what the Internet of Things is going to do for the world, the way we live and jobs. Amazon warehouses have already got little drones whipping about. We know they've got a little drone that whips around the street being tested currently. They're planning on drones in the future, dropping packages in lock boxes in people's gardens. We've heard all sorts and it's, it's only going to get bigger, only more going to come out and there's interoperability of networks is, is at the centre of it. We're in while they get the financial networks under control because there's no point in, in blockchain in anything, any industry, any ledgers until you get the financial system under control and then branch down from the financial system. Clearly, there's gonna be stuff shared across the Interledger protocol that has no value. Just has no value, just a, it has value to someone because it's a smart contract and it's and it's gone here, there and wherever, or it's something that's going through Codius or Hyperledger or Burrow. You know, there's all the, all these little, it's, it's hard to imagine how, how, how all the smart contracts and all that are all gonna move and how every, every single database on the planet is going to be on a blockchain ledger and then that ledger is going to be able to talk communicate and transfer value with with and between other ledgers all thanks to ilp and technologies like interledger and hyperledger quill it's it's beyond belief how everyone else doesn't see it i mean i i don't understand how anyone can't come on that walk with me and listen to what i've just said and not be like oh shit is that yeah yeah uber drivers what are you gonna do do you know what i mean like what's everyone thinking start documenting your journey guys because in the end you will get paid for it uh, i know we're all waiting to retire and hoping to retire early do whatever you want to do with with your xrp and your holding start your company buy your big house but Happiness has got to be there, so do whatever makes you happy, document it, gain from it. Live long and oddle, peace out.